Trump talks about reporters being shot and says he shouldn't have left White House after 2020 loss. Associated Press Donald Trump delivered a profane and conspiracy-laden speech two days before Tuesday's presidential election, talking about reporters being shot and suggesting he shouldn't have left the White House after his 2020 loss to Democrat Joe Biden. In remarks Sunday that bore little resemblance to the speech he's been delivering at his recent role, IE's the former president repeatedly cast doubt on the integrity of the vote and resurrected old Gree. Evans says after trying to overturn his 2020 election defa. Below are your comments. Harris is right. Trump doesn't like the fact we are a democracy that supports the idea of the people. E being able to vote freely and fairly. He can't stand the idea of a system he can't control. My fellow Americans, if Trump can't even try to give a speech that unites people and heals our divas, Ions when the election is this close and only if he wins can he stay out of prison, what makes you t? Hink that, if elected, he will do anything but further hurt this country? I don't recall any of VP Harris's people have to interpret what she just said, whereas I'm not sure t. Rump has made a statement that didn't have to be explained. Do you trust Trump, in a stressful, consequential moment, to handle it clear thinking with rational decision-making or would you see an impulsive knee-jerk reaction with disregard to the ramifications and potentially catastrophic consequences? Sometimes we can't see the forest for the trees as the saying goes, you have to look at what is hap. Ending now. One candidate is not speaking in a sane and rational manner no matter what good things they may have done in the past. There has been some kind of mental decline taking place right in front of our eyes. Beware, he is not the same person as four years ago, period, and the change is not for the better. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.